Hey what's up, my name is Alan, you're probably in this video because you've recently downloaded Marvel Rivals and realized that it's not as easy to run as, you know, something like Overwatch or you've probably been playing Marvel Rivals for quite a bit now and a little addicted to it and then you just want to get that competitive edge um, when it comes to frame rates and smoothness of everything. Well, this is the perfect video for you, so I'm going to hop on right into my desktop and show you exactly what to do. But before that, we're currently on this screen right now, which is a stream um, that I did last night. So just so you have an average idea of what my FPS is. So this is on mixed settings, medium to high settings. We're reaching around 80, 70 sometimes to 110. Um, it really depends on what's happening in the scene. But when Doctor Strange opens that portal, it drops all the way down to 60. My PC specs, full specs would be in the description down below. But right now I'm going to hop onto the game. All right, so I've loaded into the practice range. We're not going to go into a real match because I don't want to ruin my KD even more. But this is my current FPS. You can see it above my webcam. And by the way, my FPS are not affected with any of the recording done because I'm using a second PC. So uh, yeah, no problems with that. So this is just my frame rate on all high settings. So the first thing that I'm going to do is head over to the display settings here and then go down. And as you can see, I'm on AMD FSR, native, and then I have everything pretty much on high. Now, if I change this into, let's say, performance mode, AMD FSR, I'm going to go back. That just gave me a lot of FPS. Now, if you are using an NVIDIA graphics card, make sure to use NVIDIA DLSS. But for my case, since I have a 6700XT, I'm going to use AMD FSR. But the funny thing is, that's actually not the optimal settings for this game, at least at the point of recording this. This one, this setting right here, it's called TAAU, and just set it to around 60 um, to 70%. So I'm just going to do my render scaling to 60, go back, see my FPS. But what feels different is the mouse latency. It feels a lot more responsive than if I actually choose FSR. So for this game, it would be TAAU for the meantime until they fix the you know mouse latency bug. Now, what else? Of course, I'm going to go ahead and lower down all of my settings quite literally. So I just put that to low, put everything to low, and that's probably the best performance settings that you can get. But for my case, I have a 12 gigabyte VRAM graphics card. And if I really want to get some more details, I can probably put up my model detail up to medium and then my texture detail to high and that should not really affect much of my fps here i'm gonna restart marvel rivals now we're now back to the practice range with the restarted marvel rivals again these are the settings now if i move around on the range you can see my fps is pretty stable but hey it's all the range but don't worry i'll give you some real samples maybe if i stream again later then i'll just put some clips of that in this video but right now you can see i'm moving around 180 even looking up gives me 200 gives me the highest possible fps here's the secret sauce if you actually exit out of the game right now make sure by the way that your settings are already good for you because we're not going to be changing any more of the settings anymore so i was messing around on reddit and i saw this post by my hat has bullets and he made an improvement to the config files. Don't worry, there's no script that we're not going to be downloading here. All we have to do is head over to this paste bin. Uh, this paste bin, the first link at least, will be the one that gives you the most amount of FPS. Now, if you want more, better graphics, but with some optimization, you can go ahead for the second one. I'll label them on the description down below, but this would not give you as much performance boost. So I'm going to be sticking with this one for now, but I'll add something to this in a bit. Now, where do I paste this? For example, you can head over to this thing. So C, users, administrator, app data, local, Marvel, saved, config. And then, so what I'm gonna do here is open this as a notepad file and copy whatever is on the paste Again, I'm choosing the first one on the link uh, down in the description, which gives me the most amount of performance boost. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be pasting here. So. All you have to do now is scroll all the way down of the notepad, paste everything. So this won't replace anything. This would add some um, system commands, if you will. But yeah, that's that. Control S, save that. Go back to the folder, right click game user settings, that I and I, properties, and click on read only. But we're not done yet. But the next thing you can do is go and make a new file, text document, name it engine. 
I and I. Now what this does is we can mess around a little bit with the engine, not just on the game user settings. On the same Reddit post, we have this thing from PKPREL, uh, PKPREL. Make sure that you have lesser input lag. Make sure that it disables any mouse moving or acceleration. It allows you to have a snappier mouse movement overall. So let me go back to that window, go to engine.ini, paste it there, control S, exit, properties, and once again, head over to read only. Now press OK on everything, but now we can't change any of the settings that we have on Marvel. So just, just take note of that. Marvel Rivals settings are now off limits. If you press apply on anything, you would have to restart the game to get back the optimization that we've applied. You can see the FES is pretty much the same, but the mouse movement now feels even more snappier. And it just feels like one-to-one -one movement, unlike when, when it's just TAAU and everything. Now the FPS doesn't really add too much, but if I look up to the sky, we now reach up to 240, um, 230, so that's that. But of course, that, that little optimization right there can affect more those who have a much lower end PC, but for me, it's, it's not much of an effect. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I will leave this here. I would put some of my gameplay samples and FPS after you know, the whole tutorial stuff. So you can compare it to what we've watched in the start, the FPS that I get there, and what I will get on, you know, this all new settings that I have. Anyway, that would be it for me. Again, my name is Alan. If this video did help you get more FPS and a much more smoother and snappier performance with Marvel Rivals, then hit that like button, share it with your friends and to some more communities so that this video can help them out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next one. Have a nice day. Nice. Iron Man or Punisher. I need heal, 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 please. Punisher dead. Nice. Thank you, thank you. Iron Man. I need help. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I need heal. Wanda. Yeesh. Nice.